Hi, it's Chris Crocker in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. Um, feeling a little sad because the 70 degree weather is over. We made it up into the mid 70s today. And I think that's the last time we'll see the 70s until next spring. Here are four things to know about your weather. A cold front is moving through tonight. We already have the clouds in place, possible sprinkles here and there, but no real showers to speak of. Best chance of sprinkles will be in the morning. Mo much cooler weather tomorrow. The morning low will not be especially low. We'll be in the 40s, uh, but the high will only climb into the 50s. And then Thursday morning, that's another story. It is going to be quite crisp. Uh, today, we've had this southwesterly flow over the region. We're in a major weather pattern change. Cold front comes through tonight and moves a trough inland. The temperatures will be dropping and that trough just settles in for Thursday. Uh, Thursday morning, a widespread frost and uh, that will be Friday morning as well chilly weather ahead. Let's zoom in here on our computer model forecast and you'll see the clouds and then just a, oh, a hint of a little sprinkle here and there. Here's seven o'clock tomorrow morning. A uh, few extremely light showers from Coeur d'Alene up through Bonnersbury. I don't think we'll get measurable rain out of this by any means and then we'll clear off as the day goes on tomorrow. Again, tonight will not be especially cool. We'll be in the 40s and even the 50s down in Lewiston. High temperatures tomorrow only in the 50s in Spokane Valley, Coeur d'Alene, Sandpoint, and Bonners Ferry. In your seven day forecast, uh, there's those cool mornings, uh, especially Friday morning, 33. We have not had a night in the 30s yet in Spokane. 40 is the lowest that our morning low has been. Uh, we're just gonna stay in the 50s right on through the weekend. Another front coming through on Sunday, which right now looks like it could bring um, some widespread rain, possibly lingering into Monday, and then another pretty good drop in temperatures. And draw your attention to the overnight low Monday into Tuesday. That would be our first Obviously, we haven't even been in the 30s. That would be our first below freezing reading. So goodbye, early fall weather. We are diving into fall full force and all of the extended 8 to 14 day models uh, are showing below average temperatures to continue through mid, possibly into late October. So here we go into the busy season in the inland northwest fall things really get cranking the Aleutian low winds up and uh, it's the most exciting time of the year to be a meteorologist here so I'm ready even though I wish the 70s would just stick around a little bit longer thanks so much for watching and uh, have a great week